Hey everybody, welcome again to another video series, video game series. I am doing some gameplay videos and I have got another special classic today. It is the Intellivision uh, TV Play. Of course the sticker is missing on that, but uh, that's okay, I got it cheap. <laughs> but anyway, this game is supposed to have uh, 10 games on it for the classic Intellivision. Um, just to be clear on it, it doesn't emulate the Intellivision. Um, what it does is it kind of it's kind of reprogrammed games from the ground up, so they're not really authentic, emulated in television games. But they're they're pretty fun. Uh, we'll go through all of them real quick. Um, just want a quick note: you can see the um, the mold on this controller is kind of patterned after the SG Pro Pad which from Sega, from the Sega Genesis days. Uh, you can see that uh, it's pretty much the same. I mean, you could tell they, they took that mold and recycled it. So the SG Pro Pad 2, sometimes it's got the 6 on there. So it's, it's, there's two different versions of it. But anyway, you've got your A and B buttons and then the turbo buttons above it. That's your reset, completely resets the game. Um, Select and start buttons uh, takes uh, four, four AA batteries, so that's about the standard for a plug and play. Uh, L and R buttons, they act also as the A and B buttons, so you got your top buttons if you want to use that or just use like use those as a regular pad. We'll go through the games real quick. You know, we got uh, Astro Smack, all these were on in television and they were very, very uh, popular. Um, Astro Smash, Night Stalker. Shark Shark, Snafu, um, Space Armada, Skiing, Motocross, Baseball, Football, Star Strike. So that's the games right there. We'll be, I'll be going through them briefly playing them. Uh, I can go into an in-depth uh, play through later on down the line, you know, just, you know, to set high scores because that's, at one point I, I do want to slow down the games where I'm playing one or two games and trying to really get rack up scores and just kind of, you know, show you my gameplay. But uh, let's start with Astro Smash. Uh, that's a really, really fun game. Like I said, this will play differently than the Intellivision version, which I'll eventually get around to game playing that version as well to kind of give you the differences. Um, as you can see, it's it, it's it's a little bit. Some of the sound effects are missing from the. Uh, and television version and uh, you probably can't tell from the video footage but my ship moves at really at 60 frames a second side by side which is produces a really smooth feel to it uh, it kind of is j disjointed compared to the uh, lower quality of the the um, asteroids and stuff you just saw a little spinner fall to the ground and when that happens um, I automatically blow up. Of course these asteroids give you points. You saw that little uh, diamond thing that kind of follows you around so you got to shoot it down. It's kind of like a, a, a Space Invaders setup type of game. You just shoot the asteroids that come down. Uh, of course more, more you shoot the more points you get and Another twist to this is if they, the asteroids hit the ground, you lose points. So I was always good at this. I loved this game, um, Astro Smash. It was called Astro Blast on the Atari 2600. But yeah, you can sit here and use your turbo, hit the A button. B button, uh, you'll go into hyperspace, kind of, sort of, so you'll warp around, kind of escape. Uh, a surrounding situation so for the most part it's a fun little shooter game it's easy to pick up and play there was a spinner right there that little spinner like I said hits the ground you're dead <laughs> but every should be every thousand points 2,000 the screen changes color I'm surprised it didn't change at a thousand here but there you go changes blue and it will change colors you always want to get that spinner too and that little uh, diamond 
whatever that was. See, in the originals, you, you had more sound effects. So this is kind of a silent run here. <laughs> Might be a little hard to see. My apologies. I uh, it's, it's, it's produced very differently on my uh, capture card as my CRT that I'm playing it on. But uh, let's see here. I'm going to get hit. I will show you. Boom. Okay. But yeah, that was. Let's see. Let's get back to the main menu. All right. I guess I hit the reset button. All right. Getting back to the main menu. That was Astral Smash. Let's try Night Stalker. This is kind of similar, like a, a berserk type of game. You shoot in a certain direction, and you got to get the robots. But first, you have to get the uh, the gun. As you can see, I am uh, shooting the uh, uh, androids and stuff, the little uh, <laughs> robots and what have you. Basically, the uh, A button does that, shoots. You run out of ammo, you have to go after another gun, which is in the bottom right corner, but you got to watch out for the enemies. So once you get that, boom, you just shoot them. It, pretty easy. Not too bad. You just gotta get some points here going. Which you could, you can rack up some good points to it. See, I'm out of the gun, so, uh, oh, there we go. Of course, the enemies spawn, respawn at, you know, different places. Like the spider respawns up top, that little dude right there spawns at the bottom then you got your bats but kind of neat basically you just rack up points and just see how high you can go pretty pretty easy pretty self-explanatory but yeah that was night stalker all right shark shark this is a fun little game it's kind of like a uh, you're a small little bitty fish basically what you need to do is um, eat smaller fish and then you'll grow into a bigger fish so you just kind of wait around to the small fish and you'll eventually get bigger and bigger then you can knock out other fish Of course, B and A, if you hold them down, you'll, you'll swim faster. So there's some fish. Oh, just got eight. <laughs> just got eight by a smaller fish. The thing about this game is you just kind of have to wait around till the, till the fish come out. Oh, just got eight again. There we go. Another fish. Of course, you see all the different sea animals. But yeah. Not too bad. It's a, kind of a slow-paced game. You just got to kind of wait and wait and wait. And... There we go. Now I'm getting a little bigger. All right. A little bit bigger. About as big as that fish. Don't know if I can eat them yet, though. All right. There we go. There we go. See, a little bit, a little bit of a bigger fish. Yeah, but that guy got me. All right, that was Shark Shark. Fun little game. There's different variations of it. Snafu. Now this is a fun little game. Um, I like it because it, you leave a little trail, pretty much, and you just got to enclose the second player, kind of like a Tron game for the arcade. There was a there was a level that did that. Uh, let's do a couple rounds. So you gotta sit here. Got to enclose this guy, which he got me. You can go through them diagonally. Ah, he 
you got me. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to... Okay. I'm, a, I'm picking the first game where you can't move diagonally. So I'm going to enclose him. Boom. Okay. Now let's go round two. Alright. Kind of the same thing. Just enclose him. And boom. That was easy. Only thing I don't like is what's missing from this version is the music. It had some catchy, catchy music from the uh, Intellivision version, which kind of sad. But uh, next game up is Space Armada, similar to Space Invaders. It was the Intellivision version of Space Invaders, for the most part. You basically shoot. Of course, you see it's a little faster. Just kind of shoot these guys. Try to hit everything. <laughs> See, wait. There we go. All right, two hundred forty. Like I said, this is a very different than the Intellivision versions. It does run at 60 frames a second on my Intellivision, or my CRT TV. But the Intellivision was a little bit, a little less. So it's not straight up emulation, it's built from the ground up. But yeah, let's see if I can get a UFO. No. Hoping to try to get a UFO before go to the next game. All right. Ah, oh, I just missed it. All right. All right, 720. Okay, that was um, Space Armada. Next is skiing. One thing about Intellivision is they used to have a lot of uh, sports games. So that was kind of popular back in the day. I'll admit this plays a little bit smoother than the Intellivision version. All right, the B button kind of uh, rotates you a little bit further, uh, quicker. Like kind of a, <laughs> uh, diagonal. And the A kind of. Let's see here. There we go. Darn it. It makes you go a little faster. So you got to be a master at this game. I was never that great at it though. But it's a fun little game to sit down and try to play. And not. <laughs> Hit, hit the uh, <laughs> holes. Uh, oh, I just wiped out there. All right. Getting close here. Ah, oh, man. Well. Uh. Kind of left goes left, counterclockwise, and right goes uh, right, counterclockwise. Looks like the B is a <laughs> jump mechanism. I thought you moved kind of sharper turn, but... Oh, man, I am just... Losing it here. <laughs> Let me get to the ski resorts here. <laughs> oh, the finish line. Well, that was a bad run. But that was skiing for the uh, TV play power. Uh, let's go real quickly through motocross. This is kind of like a... RC Prime before his RC Pro-Am. 
Uh, you can tell it's like a Control it. I've only I've only briefly ever played this game, <laughs> but I hope to change that in the near future. All right. All right. I don't know if that's how slow you go, but. <laughs> Finish one lap. Let's see if we get that going. All right. Ah, not too good. <laughs> but that's all right. We're just I'm just briefly playing it and giving you an idea of what it looks like. Let's go with baseball. Now this was always a fun game. Of course, it's missing the sound effects, the trademark sound effects. That's what's that's what was so cool about this. All right, out. Let's see. Up throws to second. Down throws to home. Right to first. Left to third. Okay. Hit the B button to throw it back to the pitcher. A button throws. All right, I get it. All right, got him out. You're out. See, on the Intellivision version, you had each different button mapped to the keypad, which was pretty cool. You, you had to really get used to it. Well, I got one scored one. All right, let's try this again. Oh, it's it's auto fielding. Eh, not a fan of that. All right, that should be the third out. All right, I'm going to bat really quick. Let's see. All right. All right, you're. Uh, B button swings and then you have to actually manually go to the base. I think so. Let me see if I can take a strike. Okay. All right. All right. Did I make it? No, I didn't make it to base. Huh. I left the, left the batter standing there. Okay, that was baseball for in television. Not the true version of baseball. All right, let's try football real quick. I was not a good football fan or player on in television either. So, we'll briefly play this. All right, let's try this. Ah. Okay. All right. Not sure how to do this. Waiting for defense. Okay. Ah. Uh, I need to run the ball. Let me try to run it this time. Let's try this. All right, 
let's go, let's go. Oh, did I make it? First down. Okay. All right, let's give this a shot. All right, let's give it a uh, Oh. Okay, I'm on defense now. All right. Ah. Okay. That was football. Just a quick playthrough. Give you an idea. In the last game, Star Trek. Let's try Star Strike. This is kind of like a little first-person shooting. Um, space game you got to uh, try to shoot a lot of the see these guys of course yeah that's quick let's try this again today. Now, I got the turbo button, so I'll use those. the earth. There we go. All right. There you go. Beat the game. That was Star Strike, ladies and gentlemen. Not too hard if you figure out how to do it. It's kind of a little little tricky there. So just what I did is just went counterclockwise around it. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, but that was the uh, Intellivision uh, TV game console. Ten quick games. They're they're fun to play. I, I'm going to do a detailed playthrough later on of uh, some of these and everything. Kind of get see what kind of high score I can get. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me again for another great video. Sorry this was kind of late in the afternoon doing it, but it was. Uh, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Thanks um, for watching. I am looking around for my next plug and play and uh, here it is. You enjoyed the Intellivision and of course the competitor to Intellivision was Atari and also in that three-way three uh, race for the number one console back in the early 80s was Coleco. So now I've got the Coleco video game system uh, plug and play. It's got two controllers. Don't know if I need them. I'm only playing it one player. <laughs> But yeah, we will play this next. This is the head-to-head. -head. Hopefully there, there are one-player games in this, but we will give that a shot, fire it up, and give it, a, give it a whirl, and check that out. So thank you again for indulging me, and I will see you next time. About to press stop on the recorder, but take care.